Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and in this video we'll be talking about all new Visual Studio 2022 installation and getting started and also we'll see how the Visual Studio 2022 has improved the performance so much than compared to Visual Studio 2019 and we'll also see some of the features like hot reloading, running the test in the remote machines like remote test execution on the Linux operating system, themes, artificial intelligence features like auto completion of the code and also overall experience of Visual Studio 2022. So let's see everything in action in this particular video. So the first feature which we are going to discuss is going to be the remote debugging feature. So this remote debugging feature is something that I have already discussed in my earlier videos in my YouTube channel. So if you have not watched, please go ahead and watch there. I have discussed about the complete setup from the ground up. But in this video, I will show you the same thing with Visual Studio 2022, like how it is going to be helping us running the test on many different operating system. For example, on my Ubuntu operating system, which is running in WSL or running in the Docker container. So all those things are going to be something coming automatically using this particular remote test execution feature. So you can see that currently the test Explorer is actually showing this local Windows environment as one of the environment like active environment but you can also choose the environments like Docker or WSL Ubuntu. So I have my Ubuntu WSL installed within my operating system. So if you go to the terminal you can see that I have the Ubuntu 20.0.4 operating system. So we can run our test on this Ubuntu WSL straight away from here or we can also run on the Docker container on the image which is being specified. So this is amazing feature. So we can just run the test and I can open the Docker desktop over here. And let's say if I'm gonna run the test, so let me put this thing side by side over here and the Docker container. And if I'm gonna start running the test over here, and at the moment it is running on the local environment. So you can see that the test is running in the uh, Windows ND. But if I choose the local environment to uh, docker and once i do that you will see that it is automatically going to spin up a container for me over there which is just getting ready for the test to be executed and now if i run the test over there it is actually running on this particular container and you will see that the test is running on the unix operating system in, instead of windows operating system so this is the remote debugging capability of visual studio 2022 which is available out of the box right now which is great feature i really like that and we can also run the same thing on the uh, wsl ubuntu as well so if i try running it so you can see that it is on unix kernel so yeah that's one of the feature of the uh, remote debugging in visual studio 2022 and the next project which i wanted to show is asp.net's hot reloading option so this is another feature which is very much hyped in the visual studio 2022 launch and it's not just an hype but it's a reality so you can see that this particular project which i have loaded it was quite faster you can see that the loading itself was quite faster and uh, i have two projects over here and you can see that i can now start developing the code side by side and even modify the code without even doing any reloading of the project. So I'm going to run two projects right now and you can see that I have a web project and an API project running. They all are developed using .NET 6 and you can see that it launches uh, two browsers for me. One of the browser is actually uh, opening the website for me and another one is the Swagger documentation. So let me show you the product and this is the API project. So I'm going to put this guy side by side over here and then i'm going to be opening the visual studio over here and let me go to the web application over here and if i go to one of the view for example the list view of the page and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the hot reloading option this hot reload actually helps us to reload the page for any kind of option that i'm specifying so i have chosen the hot reload on file on save so if I select this option, it is going to hard reload even for the file change. Like if I do a save of the file or control S of the file, it is going to change instantly over there without us to recompile anything. So you can see that I'm going to do this on the view. I'm just going to do a control S. And once I do that, you will see that the page has been reloaded with that particular change. Like instead of list all the product, it has changed to list, which is cool. So this is quite faster. So if I want to change from the create new to create, I'm just gonna save this and you will see that it has become like create 
And you'll also notice that it is not just for the view the changes has been made, the hot reloading has been made, but also for the code behind or even the code which is sitting all the way from the code being generated from the, the end swag. For example, this particular code is actually using uh, one of the code sitting in the product API over here. So this is generated from NSWAC toolchain. And if I wanted to make some of the change on the logic, for example, in one of the controller you can see for the list controller, for example, on the product controller, you can see once I select the edit of the product over here, it is going to go and call this get product by ID method, which is then going to call the get product by ID, which is specified here and this particular code this one so this is the auto generated code i'm just going to go all the way deep into the code and what i'm going to do is instead of calling the actual id which is going to be selected so let's say if i'm going to select the uh, monitor as edit something like this it is going to show me the product for the monitor and if i select the details of the mouse like this it is going to be showing the details of the mouse but let's say if i'm going to change or maybe hijack the code in such a way that i'm going to modify instead of id uh, always getting it as a parameter i'm going to hard code this to two for example the two is the mouse as you can see over here i have saved it now and there is no change happening at the moment on the uh, code over here the web view over here but the logic has already been changed so if i select the mouse this time it is showing mouse which is looking good because the id is two over here and if i go back and select the keyboard it is also going to show us the mouse which is the change which we have made over here so we have actually jeopardized the application even if i select the details it is always going to be showing the mouse if i do the edit it is going to show the mouse and if I even select the tables detail, it is going to show the mouse. The reason being I have made those changes over here. So let's say if I'm going to revert back that change, I'm going to save this. See that once I made the change, it has already changed the detail for the product instantly. The logic has already been reflected there. So this is the hot reloading option of Visual Studio 2022, which is already available, not just for the ASP.NET web view, but also for the C sharp codes in general, and also for C++ and WPF and Xamarin's and stuff. So that is the cool thing about this Visual Studio 2022's hot reloading option. And the next option which I'm going to show is the artificial intelligence based code completion which is available in Visual Studio 2022. And again, that is very, very interesting. So if you go to any one of the code over here, and if you wanted to write any one of the code, you can see that it is going to automatically give you the suggestion. So if I'm going to write the context and if I hit dot, and if I am going to do something like an add, you will see that it is going to automatically suggest me what I should be inserting, like underscore context dot product, something like that. So this is one of the feature which is available pretty much like the GitHub Scopilot. And this feature helps us to write the better coding, reduces the number of code that we type in Visual Studio 2022. So that's it guys, this is the new feature. I've already talked exclusively about features that I have talked over here in separate videos, but this is 2022's actual launch, like the official launch, the one that we discussed before, we're all in preview, but this is great. I mean, 2022 is right now available for general public. Good news. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video and hope you like all the features of VS 2022. Thank you.